What's new, pussycats? Alrighty, we're back again with the council, the mad ones. Now we've got to choose a manuscript to equip her over here. Method by which to analyze individuals based on their physical appearance. Okay, that one sounds the most hopeful. Let's go with that one. <laughs> Having some sort of out of body experience. Your turn. The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Hmm. Their search time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in here. Hmm. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. <laughs> it is indeed. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Oh. Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. <laughs> Come, come, take a seat, my friend. It's not a happy camper. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. <laughs> I thought it was to prevent getting lost. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. You have too much valerian, it causes insomnia. The more you know. <laughs> it's often used in herbal sleep remedies. I'm coming! Hurry to answer the door. Okay. <laughs> Can I pick up anything else on the way? Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. All right. Well, I better go hurry to answer this door like they suggested. Keep knocking. Oh my gosh, really? Don't go away. <laughs> Excuse me. Am I bothering yes, you? Yes, go away. <laughs> no, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Yes. I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well... She is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. 
But she is supposed to be dead. Dun, yeah, dun, dun. that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important mm. issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. How Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost I thought stories. I didn't know what he looked like. Um, well, I've played that route before on my own, and I'm curious about what happens if you do this. Sir, I, I don't feel well. I'm going to have to decline. I see. Well, oh. I hope you won't be needing my help one Yes. Day. I must act swiftly. I'll search my room later. Uh. Seeker of truth. <laughs> Alright, spy on the men from your vision. <laughs> oh, this is going to be tricky. Okay, so where am I going? Spy on the men from my vision, but like, how do I? By going where? <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Oh, okay, thanks. Because <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. It looked like. He was by a fireplace, but there are fireplaces everywhere in this place. I don't even know. Duke Manuel Godoy. <laughs> Godoy, mate. <laughs> I recognize this part of the corridor. I'm close. Ah, okay. Multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. Okay. Who is that? Sir, I'm sorry, but an important meeting is underway. My instructions are to let no one pass. Yes. Tell me, my good man. Sir? Uh, question seven. Give the servant a task. Pretend I have an urgent message. Listen, I'm an insomniac and Sir Holm told me that you could go to the kitchen and make me a cup of herbal tea. And what is in this herbal tea, sir? Holm gave Washington mm. a recipe for a sleeping drought. What was it again? Valerian uh, peppermint lime flower. Peppermint lime flower and mm. valerian. I yes, it's herbal tea. I I'll go and make it for you at once, sir. I'll wait for you in my room. Hmm. I need to find a place to watch undisturbed. Find the room you saw in your vision. I wish I could have traced down that other dude, because he looked like he knew something. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. Temporarily see immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice. You cannot carry more than five. A Devil's Thorn? Mm. To be used to uncover the best of the prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Mm. That might come in handy. Discovered immunity. Okay. Surely I can't just stand at the door. That would seem very obvious. It's a beautiful weapon. A lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Bonaparte's lefties. Buy corn decorated with a cockade. 
It must belong to a French soldier. Mm hmm. But from now on. Can't hear anything here. I've got to find another spot. Yes, and that doesn't seem like a good place to eavesdrop. <laughs> you look a bit obvious if they open the door. Tonalite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Ah, this window opens onto the balcony. Okay. Hmm. So that means the other room must be on my right. Such a pretty house. Sir, I understand your eagerness, but the pressure on my family complicates the task. Relax, my friend. Your relatives will soon be huh. safe. Mm -hmm. So what I saw in my vision really did happen. <sighs> well, I hope I haven't missed anything important. I thank you so much. Don't mention it. Now that's settled, let us speak about your support. Yes. You mentioned earlier some assistance from the Golden Order? Absolutely. I have concluded an agreement with their leader, Lady Sarah Faustine de Richet. Another case that Mother didn't tell me about. <laughs> the funds from the Order will finance the building of a foundry in Tuscany. You will soon be able to count on a hundred or more cannons for your future campaigns. Wow. I... Uh... I was not expecting so much help from you. Uh, when can I meet this uh, de Richet? Well, unfortunately, something has cropped up. De Richet has disappeared. Disappeared? What? Here? Yes, but the staff are redoubling efforts to find her, I assure you. So the agreement, is it on or off? It is on. Her right-hand man has just arrived here to help us find her. And it is none other than her son, Louis Maurras de Richet. I wager he will ensure his mother's commitments are met. Louis, not an easy name to live with in these times. Uh, of course, but from now on you will deal with him. This man, it can only be Mortimer. Very well, I will seek him out. Oh, man. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're gonna find me a little quicker. Oh my gosh, don't lean in. Are you insane? No. Oh. oh my god, I missed the opportunity. Like, come on. <laughs> oh shit. Well, I better get away from here. Hello? Oh. <laughs> Give me a heart attack, why don't you? <laughs> Probably shoot me on sight. <laughs> and send me to the guillotine. The French were very into the guillotine back then. <laughs> Off with his head! Oh. Louis? Hi. Emily? Uh, I can explain. Perhaps, but remains. Someone threw your talents. Yeah. Okay. But, but first, you could perhaps remove the blade from my throat? You have ten seconds to explain your presence mm -hmm. here. Swear your innocence, apologize politely, keep quiet. I can't really do that, can I? I'm not here for you. What are you doing in my room? Oh, I didn't know this was your room. Appearances are deceptive. I can't do those two bugger. I, I thought a night stroll would help me sleep better. A servant must have closed the window behind me and I... And my window was the only way for you to get back inside. Most convincing. What were you really doing on the balcony? Worry about her, keep quiet. Seeing the window open, I feared someone had entered your room. With what I'd heard next door, I had every reason to believe that your life was in danger. I am a grown woman, but how kind of you to worry about me. Now that I'm safe and sound, tell me more. Has this anything to do with the order? Oh yes, Washington informed me you were part of the order. That's what you were talking you too? about. 
You're part of this too? Yes. Now answer. Do these events concern me? Do they involve the Golden Order? Share the information. Keep quiet. Huh. I overheard a conversation between a French soldier and some other individual. And what were they talking about? It seems Mother is involved. Something about a military campaign? Apparently my mother validated an order of cannons to help this man. Really? Hmm. Since when does the order finance wars? As far as I know, since never. Did That's they give any details, wondering. a date, what they were for? Nothing at all. Did you know anything about this? No, but I won't forget. Thank you. All right, Louis, I might have overreacted a bit. Please do excuse me, but next time, please try knocking on my door. I'd be delighted to open it for you. Oh. Well, I'll remember in that case. Jeez, Good night, Louis. Winston. Scared the heck out of me. Good night, Louis. Okay. Go back to bed. Duchess Emily. Okay. Pretty sure my room is this way. Duke Manuel Godoy. Okay, I do remember passing that name before, so I must be up here. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I wanted to speak to you about something important. Uh -huh. Do you still have my letter uh, on you? See? The one I gave you in the I room? knew it. Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Louise. Mm. Give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Hmm. Something fishy about that guy. He's up to something. This is my room. Should I have a wander around? I mean, it's telling me to go back to bed, but... <laughs> mm. Who's next to me? Oh, of course. <laughs> I just saw him go in there. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Oh, fine. <laughs> you're not gonna let me have a bit of a snoop around. Okay, fine. Whew. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. <laughs> I reckon. It's a comforting painting to fall asleep to. <laughs> Gosh. Okay, successfully distracted the servant to be able to pass through Napoleon's room. Okay, I showed Piaggi his letter. I could have helped Mr. Washington, I could have prevented a violent confrontation. I could have found out something about my mother's past. Oy vey. Alrighty guys, we'll leave it there for today. Aww. Don't worry, I'll be back with more videos soon. Or there are over 300 other videos on my channel you can check out if you really miss me. Thanks so much for spending some of your day with me today, guys. If you're new here, don't forget to cheer up my subscribe button and give it a bit of a tickle. I'm also on the Tweety and Facebook if you want to follow me on social media. The links are in the description below. Thanks again for watching, everyone. I've been Jelly Tabby. Don't forget to be kind to yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody! Good luck. Be sure to wear your mittens and your galoshes. And don't forget to write. Bye now.